was a silversmith. Um, I learned from her just watching, helping her. I just start making like drops, start off from there. When I was 12, my first job was working uh, in a shop in Grants on a school out. Me and my sister were there in the shop. The only thing I remember making the one piece was a big butterfly pin that he made out a postcard to stay. I, I haven't found that postcard. I want to see how well I did that time when I was 12. We cut the stones. This is, um, we made it a set just to match the necklace. And the necklace on this one is called the Mali. The only stones that's closest to this one was a Cayman. A lot of times I usually have sets. So those are my popular sets that I usually like this combination. Lapis. Um, people just like to, um, all these sets that I do, you know, and I do every, all different kinds of stones and colors. Uh, and it's been from, um, from the black stones or onyx. Those are some of the inexpensive, but they come out real nice. This is my both most popular ones. It's a mini squash blossom, earrings, and then you can wear it. Sometimes I have in the wire, I have uh, a few different colors. I use um, Sleeping Beauties, and then I use Cayman and the coral. Those are my, the main ones I use on these. The stuff that um, we've been doing it for so long is the clusters are, you can see I'm wearing the one right here, and these are the cluster combination that uh, I do a lot, and then this is also a ring. So these are, this is Royston, and then the outside is King. This is kind of the, the hottest stone, so I do the way, it, the color combination, so I did greenish and just kind of matching the middle stone. Also, kind of handmade chain. This is one of the chain that I do. I do a small, medium, large, and I have the double wire that I do, and a single twisted. That one my mom used to do. I'm Navajo, full Navajo, and I've been married for 39 years. I have four, four children. I make my own beads, stealing silver beads. One of the biggest one I do is uh, one and a half. I do stamp and just clean silver beads. My mom did some sand casting, so I'm really trying to get into it. I got all the supplies. I'm working on the sand casting the old traditional way. 